Hello everyone, uh, short date please and learn objective. Press pause on the video while you're doing that and press play when you've, uh, when you've finished, okay? Uh, right, okay. So as you can see, we're multiplying divided by 10, 100 and 1,000. Um, it's really important this because it's amazing how many pe pupils I've taught in year 7 and year 8 who can't do this accurately, who can't do this accurately. So it's really important to get it done now. So first of all, when you, so a whole number is nice and easy when you're multiplying. So if you've got something like 17 times 10, you just add the zero, okay? If there's one zero here, we write, uh, for what I like to do, I like to cross that zero off. So 17 times one is 17. How many zeros have I crossed off? One, so I'm gonna put another one on there. If I've got 27 times 100, I'm going to cross those zeros off. 27 times 1 is 27. I've added and I've crossed of two zeros and put in two zeros back on. Okay, I could have 41 times 1,000. Okay, I'm going to cross those zeros off. 41 times 1 is 41. I've crossed 1, 2, 3 zeros off. I put three zeros back on. So multiplying uh, is easy when it's with whole numbers. Okay, you add a zero. But however many zeros, uh, like one zero and ten, so you had one zero, two zeros and a hundred, you'd had two, three zeros and a thousand, you had three zeros. Okay. Uh, a bit trickier though when it comes to um, multiplying and dividing, uh, uh, sort of when, when it is decimals involved. So here we have, um, you've got this at the top of your. Uh, on page nine okay so you can use this if you want to if you find it helpful if not it doesn't matter so let's have a look so, so, say for example we've got um, 4.7 times 10 now I'm just going to put in here this is going to be our number here 4 times 4.7 yeah we've got one in the fours column we've got one in the tenths of the 0.1s column okay there we times that by 10 now what we do here, when we're multiplying by uh, 10, because there's one zero, we move the numbers one place to the left. Now, I can never remember when I'm doing these, left or right, okay? But all you need to remember is when you're multiplying, numbers get bigger. When you're multiplying, numbers get bigger. So I know this 10 has one zero, so I'm just going to move, I'm just going to move my 7 one place to the left. Okay, one place to the left. I'm going to use my four, one place to the left, and I'm actually left with 47 point nothing, isn't it? 47. So this is my answer 47 point. I can put point zero if I want to, because that decimal point, uh, oh, I don't have to have it in there at all. But it does go to show um, that I've moved the numbers one place to the left when I'm timesing by 10. Okay. Now, if I had that same number there, and we will do some tricky numbers in that. And we've got 4.7 times 100. Now, 100 here has two zeros. Two zeros, so I'm going to move it one, two places to the left, okay? One, two, so the, there goes there, and the four goes one, two places to the left. And, and I need to put in a zero here into my ones column, because I've got 470. So that becomes 470, okay? Um, so, uh, and the same when I'm multiplying by thousands, by a thousand, let's put a different number up there in this case. So say, for example, I've got, well, let's just carry on with the hundreds first. Let's carry on with the hundreds. So say, for example, I've got 37.42, and I'm multiplying that by 100. Now, if I put my 37.42, above and multiply it by 100. 100 has two zeros. So for each zero, I move the numbers one at one. For each zero, I move them one place to the left. It has two zeros, so it goes two to the left. Okay. I know those numbers are getting bigger because I'm multiplying. So I'm going to go one, two. So I'm going to put that in there. One, two, there, there. So that becomes 3,742, okay? So we need to remember that we're multiplying, when we're multiplying, uh, we move them to the left, okay? We move them to the left. And if we were doing this number again to the thousands, okay, 
to the thousands, we would multiply, if we're times it by a thousand, there are three zeros in a thousand. So I'm going to move this at one space for every zero. One, two, three zeros. So the numbers can move three places. One, sorry, one, two, three. So that's where the two goes. One, sorry, one, two, three. That's where the four goes. One, two, three. That's where the seven goes. And that's going to go there. So then we've got, and we're going to have to, we're going to put a zero in there. Okay. So it's 37,420. Okay. 37.42 times a thousand. So remember when we multiply multiplying by 10, we move the place the places one place to the left. When we are multiplying by a hundred, it's two, and when we're multiplying by a thousand, it's three places. Okay. Another way of dividing by ten is actually is to find a tenth of something. A tenth is exactly the same as dividing by ten. So if I wanted to find one tenth of seventeen point six, what I would do is okay. What I would do is, and I put these in just to show above, 17.6. Now I know 1 tenth is exactly the same as dividing by 10. So that is the same as 17.6 divided by 10. So again, I'm just going to move 7.6. I'm going to move the numbers one place to the left. So the 6 goes there, the 7 goes there, the 1 goes there. It's 176, okay? So, uh, oh, hang on, it's dividing, so we're going the wrong way, apologies. I'll come back to that one-tenth, so I'm not going to start the video again. Ignore everything I just did on that one-tenth, because that's when it comes to dividing. We're going to do dividing next, okay? So when you're multiplying, you move the numbers uh, to the left, okay? Uh, now we're going to go to, uh, do dividing. Again, if you had something like 470 divided by 10, because there's a zero here, we can cross a zero off there. Okay, that would be 47. If we had, uh, if we had 4,000 divided by 100, now I've got two zeros here when I'm dividing, so I can. If I can cross off two zeros on this side, I can cross off two zeros on that side. Okay, so if I can cross one off there, I can cross it off there when I'm dividing, okay? So that leaves me with 40. If I had 7 million, and I want to divide that by 1,000, okay? If I can cross off for each one, I can cross off this side, I can cross off one the other. I can cross another one there, another one there, cross another one there, another one there. And that would give me 7,000. Okay, so if they're nice figures like that, I don't think we get uh, oh, we got a little bit of work like that today. We can uh, use that um, method. Okay, right. Let's just go through uh, some division. Uh, right. So if we're dividing by ten, so if say for example this sum had four point seven, I'm dividing that by ten. So here I've got four point seven, and I'm dividing it by ten. Now, this time, because I'm dividing, the number's going to get smaller. Because I'm dividing by 10, the numbers get smaller. But the same and the same rule applies in that if there's one zero, I move them one place. This time, I'm going to move them to the right. Okay, I'm going to move them this way to the right to make them smaller. So this 4 goes over to here. The 7 goes there. We can just put a north there. 0 0.47. So I'm just moving the numbers one place to the right when I'm dividing by 10. If I've got, say for example, I've got um, uh, 12, let's say I've got 123, and I'm dividing that by 10. So I've got 123 divided by 10. 123 divided by 10. Again, if I put my 123 here, I'm dividing by 10. 10 has one zero. So I'm going to move all the numbers one place to the right. I'm going to get make them smaller, aren't they? So the 3 goes here one place. 2, 1 becomes 12.3. Okay. Now when I'm dividing, when I'm dividing by 100, okay. When I'm dividing by 100, um, say for example, I've got um, 
347 divided by 100. Now, if I put this up here, okay, 347, okay, this is basically 347.0. So there is a decimal point here. We well, remember there's a decimal point. We don't use it and we don't put it in unless there's a decimal after one, but there, there is one there, okay. So this time again, because we're dividing by 100, we have to move the numbers two places, okay? Because there's two zeros in 100. So we move the seven, one, two places to there, the four to there, the three to there. So we get 3.47, okay? And what we've done, if we look at this number here, we've got 347.0. We're actually just moving these numbers two places, aren't we? Okay, so we're moving that one, two to there. Okay, 3.47. Okay, right. Uh, Seven thousand four hundred and twenty divided by a hundred. Okay, divided by a hundred. Okay. Um, and again, if we put, I think probably the best way is to, again, we put them up in here. I might show you a little shortcut on how to do this. 7420. I'm dividing by 100, so I'm going to have to move the numbers two places. Two places to the right. One, two. One, two. Okay. And then the rest will slot in. So I got 74 equals 74.20. And in fact, we don't really need that there either, but we'll, we'll leave it up for now, I think. Save confusion. Okay. Um, I think probably, yeah. Uh, and then if we're dividing by a thousand, so say for example, we've got uh, 14,700, and we're dividing that by, dividing by a thousand. Okay. So, uh, what we've got here, we've got three zeros. So, this is basically 14,700 point something. So, we're going to move the numbers three places. So, let's have a look. One, two, three. That's the, yep, yeah, okay. I'm going to move this seven. One, two, three. So, it goes over to this side. Okay. This side of the decimal point. So, yep. Yeah, and then we've got 14,700. So if we do it up here, we've got 14,000, uh, 14,700. Because it has three, uh, three zeros, we're moving the seven three places to the right, making it smaller, remember? One, two, three. So it goes to there, doesn't it? Seven, oh, with the other one up there. Uh, 14, okay. Right, it is really really essential you can multiply and divide by uh, by 10. Oh that's the last thing okay if you, you might get a question where you have to find a tenth of something one tenth of uh, one tenth of seven for example okay now one tenth is the same as dividing by 10. one tenth is the same as dividing by 10 so that would be the same as seven divided by 10. So what am I going to do? This is like 7.0 divided by 10. I'm going to move the numbers. They're going to get so dividing. So it's going to get smaller. It's one zero. So I'm going to move it one place to the right. Okay. So it becomes uh, 0.7. Okay. And it's the same if I did it on here. Okay. So you can use, uh, if you want to draw one of these boxes yourself. Okay. Uh, it's a good, good idea. But it's... um. As I say, they can get a bit messy. So let's have a look. 7 is dividing by 10, which is the same as 1 tenth. Okay? Uh, therefore, we're just moving it one place to the right, so it goes there, 0 0.7. Okay? Um, right. Uh, let's have a go at these, please. Um, not a huge amount of work to do today, but I really want us to grasp these. Okay? Uh, if you need to watch the video again, Please uh, watch the video again. Look at the um, at the box on top of page nine because it really will be useful for you. Okay. So what the work I'd like us to do is just page nine. 
page 9 I want us to do questions 1 to 12 please questions 1 to 12 now again I think a lot of you will be okay to do the extension today okay because you've got plenty of time to get on with this work so the extension on page 10 could you do questions have a go questions 9 to 20 okay I think it finishes it first. let me just check yeah, questions 9 to 20. Have a go at those if you can. Now, these are the ones you must do, okay? Must do those, and then have a go, if you can, at the extension uh, on that, okay? I think most of us should be okay with that extension. Really important to be able to do these, okay? Please, um, as soon as you're done, if you can, take a photograph of it or scan it and send it to me, that's great. Please, if there's any problems, email me. Don't be afraid to watch the video over again if you didn't quite grasp it, okay? Uh, good luck with that. Bye.